Cassava is one of the most grown crops in Uganda and Africa at large, given its high resistance to diseases and harsh weather conditions. In Uganda, about 75% of farmers grow the crop, but mainly for home consumption. However, given the low income prices from these sales, many farmers are reluctant to plant cassava on a large scale. This cannot change the lives of our farmers. So this is a very important crop for food security. It is against this backdrop that scientists have embarked on a study on how to improve yields. This second phase of the project is intended to affect uh, the income and livelihood of more than 200,000 small farmers who will be selling cassava into the various value chains that the cassava adding value for Africa is developing across the continent. 75-year-old Samuel Opio, a resident of Alelopek, is one of the few farmers in northern Uganda who have adopted this method of farming. He owns almost 100 acres of cassava. This is why he abandoned the traditional method of growing and harvesting cassava. Why I adopted the new method? Because the other method is now too old for me. This new method can just improve the, the family. You, uh, you can dry your cassava very well. You don't have to panic. There's no rain which can even affect your cassava. Opio earns 75 million shillings annually from his farm. When I'm doing high quality cassava flow, I earn 28 million per year. Then with the capital planting material, I earn about 55 million per year. Cassava farmers can now make barley and wheat as byproducts. But how was this idea introduced? A lot of farmers were coming to me and saying, Doctor, Professor, what do we do with this cassava? Give us market. They thought that I was the market. So that's how I linked up with the contacts that I have all over the world, put up an international team who started working on how we can create market for cassava. This is a crop that is grown by several people. Uh, over 600 million people. Uh, are dependent on cassava, but there is very little value addition. Uh, so therefore, its commercial viability was never tapped. From the gardens, the cassava is peeled, then washed as these workers demonstrate. Using a machine, the chips are dried. One can use modern methods as solar energy or traditional methods of drying under the sun. The chips are sold as crunches, while cassava can also be crushed to produce flour and barley. 